It's indeed hard to describe my pleasure in standing before you today to receive the 2011 Access to Learning Award on behalf of the Arid Lands Information Network and the people of East Africa. How did you feel when they told you that you had won the award? Oh my, I was lost. I mean, a million dollars is by no means small money. So I was very, very excited. But at least because I knew the magnitude of, of, of my dream, I had to fit the million dollars into that dream. Let me tell you something about the arid lands of Sub-Saharan Africa. Most of them are inhabited by agro-pastoralists whose way of life means that they are always on the move. Aridity means that the regions are not highly productive acre for acre compared to better endowed agricultural regions. As a result, many successive governments and even development actors have avoided working in the arid lands. This means that they have been cut from critical uh, infrastructures such as road, water, electricity, and in many instances, even schools and health centers. Tell us a little bit about what you've been doing and how you will use the money. Um, I've been uh, helping communities to create and exchange knowledge so that they can improve on what they do um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, we're going to use the money to be able to expand on the reach so that we have many more people benefiting from free access to information, uh, ICT training, so that they can be able to compete at um, the level where uh, most of the privileged class is. We plan to increase our outreach so that many more people can be served with information and knowledge. We plan to increase the number of people who are getting training because uh, like in the country where uh, we, are, we reside, Kenya, the minimum basic for you to get a job is to have what they call an international computer driver's license. So you can imagine how many isolated people would be cut off if they don't have this. So Alin will do its best to be able to get more people to appreciate technology, to train and have opportunities to compete at the national and international level. It makes an expression of faith, not only in Alin and Kenya, but to our continent as a whole.